Hello, this is a video for the ladies, but if you're a guy, you can watch it anyway if you want. Um, you might be able to pick up some tips or just get a little insight into how, how the girls work. Um, if you're like me, you have two very different sides of yourself. Two very different sides of yourself. On one side, I'm super nerdy. I'm into some pretty nerdy stuff. For example, I watch Jeopardy every day. Jeopardy. Makes me feel smart. Um, but on the other side, I'm very girly and feminine. And throughout my life, I've had to learn to um, balance those two. I, I want to embrace and have those be a part of my life, but I've had to work at balancing the two. Um, I've always been into fashion and clothes and... Uh, looking cute and going shopping and stuff. But once I got into middle school, I started being bullied and I equated femininity and dressing up and makeup to these people that were bullying me and I rebelled against that and I feel like I lost myself. Um, I didn't start wearing make makeup till college. Um, so I've only just recently learned how to um, express myself and have that part of me while still looking cute. <laughs> so, five groups of tips. Group number one, hair. Hair is important. Of course, the obvious stuff, wash it, shampoo and conditioner. Um, if you like good smelling stuff, there's lots of good stuff out there. I use organics. It has some really good smelling stuff. Um, use a heat protectant. I have a list, that's why I'm looking down here. You use a heat protectant. If you use heat products on your hair, if you use a curling iron or a blow dryer, use a heat protectant. It comes in a little spray, and it's fantastic. Uh, it keeps your hair from not um, drying out from all the blasts of hot air. Um, there are some amazing hair products out there um, for your hair type or your hair cut. There are some hair products out there to help you. Um, for example. I have very, as you can see, I have very pin straight hair. This is my natural hair. Um, not the color, of course, but <laughs> getting to that later. Um, but one of the drawbacks of that is I do not have a lot of volume at the top. Um, if you ever seen me do this in a video, that's what I'm doing. I'm working on the volume. Um, as I like to joke around, I have hat hair without ever wearing a hat. Um, so one time I had a friend suggest the Paul Mitchell Thicken Up. I just have a little bottle. Um, but I just put it in my roots when my hair's wet before I blow dry it, and it, it helps give it a little, uh, pump, or bump, or whatever the fuck the word is. Um, find a good hairstylist. They can really help you as to what you want to do with your hair. They can pinpoint your hair type, um whether it's thick or thin, whether you have a lot of hair or not a lot of hair, you know, whether it's curly, wavy, straight, you know, whether you relax it, whatever. Um, and they can give you a great haircut. Um, also, dyes. If you want to dye your hair, and I think what they say is if it's, if you want to go more drastic than three shades lighter or three shades darker than your natural hair type, um, go to a professional because what they can do is they can give you some highlights and lowlights and shit um, and hair dyes are great ways to experiment. I love dyeing my hair. Um, I get bored with my hair. I get bored of colors. I don't like, I'm not a huge fan of my natural hair color. So um, I've, I've had a lot of fun throughout the years dyeing my hair. Um, and experiment with curling or straightening your hair. If your hair is curly, straighten it. Give it a whirl. If your hair is straight, curl it. See what it looks like. Um, the, I'm sorry, my nose itches. The second uh, group is face. Number one, obviously, wash your fucking face. It gets dirty. Wash it for the love, for the love of God, or whatever. Sp flying spaghetti monster. Whatever you love, do it. Um, if, if you wear makeup, take your fucking makeup off before you go to bed. I know I don't always do it, I'm awful at it, but it's very important. It'll get in your pores and give you grossness. Um, know what type of skin you have. Um, it's gonna help you find products.
for your skin. Is your skin oily? Is your skin dry? Is your skin acne prone? Is your skin normal? And are you a fucking lucky person? Uh, then you're if you once you know that it's gonna help you with the products that you that you need to buy. Um, if you have an acne problem or a major skin problem, please go to a dermatologist. They are amazing. They will give you products. They can fix your shit that's going on. And not only your face, but like any skin because they're a dermatologist. Um, and also moisturize. Use a moisturizer. Your skin will thank you, especially in the later years. Um, now makeup. Makeup is your friend. I know with a lot of people, they see makeup as you're ugly, you need to cover up your fucking ugly face. But if you look at it the way that makeup should be looked at, it's really fun and you can experiment with it. You can be like, okay, what colors look good on my eyes? What colors look good on my lips? You know, if I do this to my face, what will it look like? If I wear this color, what will it look like? And you know, oh, my eyes really open up when I do this type of eyeliner and um, do this type of mascara. It's a lot of fun to really experiment. Don't see it as hiding the bad. See it as enhancing the good. It's a lot of fun to play with. Now, I'm not someone to uh, give tips on how to do makeup, so I have a few um, suggestions of beauty gurus here on YouTube to go and see. Um, one of my favorites is Beauty Broadcast. Um, her name is Emily. Um, I will put these all in the in the description. Um, her username is Emily Noel eighty three. Um, she's amazing. And then of all, of course, there's also Candy Johnson and Michelle Fan. Um, group number three: clothing. Clothing is so much fun. Uh, main thing with clothes: know your body type. Are you pear shaped? Do you do you have a big butt and big hips. Are you? Do you have a boyish figure? Do you have? Are you full busted like me? Um, I just grab my boob. Uh, are you an hourglass and are you a lucky son of a bitch or lady of a bitch or whatever? Because um, once you know your body type, you'll be able to dress it better and make it look good. Um, now, one thing that comes up a lot when you're into some some cool stuff and you want to rock some t-shirts is that um, especially with the nerdy things a lot not a not the coolest shirts come in fitted sizes the coolest shirts usually come in unisex or for men so um, there are some tricks into styling these shirts for example on Monday when I wore my Nerdist shirt it was unisex, it was baggy, so what I did was I wore skinny jeans with it, I wore sandals, and I wore some earrings. I would have worn bracelets, but I have tiny fucking wrists and can't wear bracelets because they fall off my hand. Um, so find ways to style things to, to make yourself look good. And also, I have never done this, but I want to, um, DIY that shit, and um, I know there are probably some blogs or books out there of how to take a tea and cut it up or cinch it up to make it um, look cute. Um, I want to do that with some shirts that I have, but I need to find where to figure out how to do that shit. Um, accessories are your friend. I think I've said a lot of these are your friend. Accessories are fucking awesome, especially jewelry and shoes. Jewelry and shoes. Jewelry and shoes. Jewelry and shoes. Um, I said it. I didn't mess up. Um, jewelry, I, with the invention of the internet, jewelry and shoes, I mean, the chances of what your jewelry and shoes can look like is, has expanded because there are Etsy, there's Etsy and all these cool websites where you can find some stuff to be able to express your personality through clothes and through jewelry and through shoes. Um, speaking of jewelry, I recently went to a website called shopplasticland.com. I will put them in the description. Um, I love them because they have they carry vegan shoes and I want like all of them. But I was looking at their website the other day and they have these cute little barrettes that say I heart nerds. I want them like yesterday. 
<laughs> and shoes. Shoes, I mean, who doesn't love a pair, a good pair of chucks? Like a good pair of chucks. I have a pair of chucks that I designed um, on the website and, and bought them. And they're fucking awesome. And every time I wear them, I get lots of compliments. Because they're cool and the combinations of colors is just rad and I'll show them to you one day. Um, but you can have some, some cool looking heels and, and flats and stuff. Um, one pair of heels that I've had my eyes on, I don't remember where I saw them, I've seen them a few times online. Um, the zombie heels, they're like green and they look like zombies. And I want them! Okay. <laughs> That's clothing. Um, number four, health. Health is important, especially if you want to look good. Um, food. Start introducing some veggies and fruits into your diet. Um, I know it's so easy if you're playing video games or reading comic books to just stuff your face with grossness and sit on your ass. Um, I know that when you're watching TV or surfing the internet or watching a movie, it's easy to eat chips or french fries or whatever, or pizza, instead of um, eating something healthy. But I think a hair just went down my shirt. Nope. Um, <laughs> but, um, but just, I mean, don't go drastically to super healthy food because you will overwhelm yourself. Um, so just slowly introduce it. I've I, That's what I've been doing. I've slowly introduced it into my diet. And I just started eating cucumbers. I've never liked cucumbers. And I'm starting to eat cucumbers on sandwiches. Yeah, it's fucking amazing. Um, and I'm talking about the healthy kinds of fruits and vegetables. Uh, not the fried or fucked up ones from the way people have cooked them. I know. I'm from the South. Fried okra is fucking delicious. I love it. It's like some of the best food ever. Um, but because in the South we love to fry everything and put ham hocks in everything and throw an ass load of salt and or sugar in, in everything. But try it a healthy way. Like, for example, in the South, the way we make collard greens, ham hock, lots of salt. I've made collard greens at home with, um, olive oil and just a little bit of salt and it was delicious. Um, exercise. Um, this is another thing that I really shouldn't be, um, disciplining you on, because I still have nine pounds left to go, um, for my goal, goal weight, but I still want to, I want to get lower than my goal weight, um, to, to maybe like a buck, twenty, buck, twenty-five, but my goal, goal weight is one-thirty. Um, so, the main things with exercise is a balance of cardio and, uh, strength training. Some great sources. Here on YouTube, there's uh, Charlie James 1975, and there's also the girls that do Tone It Up uh, on YouTube. They're Tone It Up, and at their website, it's toneitup.com. Um, and also, Chris Hardwick's book, The Nerdist Way, has an amazing section on health, on exercise, and food. Um, and number five, the most important section of all, is if you do this, do this for yourself. Don't try to do it for someone else. Don't try to impress a family member or a guy that you like or society. Do it for yourself. If you don't feel like looking cute that day, if you just want to throw on jeans and a t-shirt, good. Do it. I do that a lot. If you don't feel like wearing makeup or doing your hair or whatever, fine. I'm not telling you that you have to do this because you're a woman. Um, I'm saying if you want to do it, you can. Um, like I said with the makeup, don't go to it with um, with the intention of making yourself or fixing something that's wrong because you as a person and as a nerd are a fucking awesome person and nerd and you should never hate yourself and I'm the wrong person to be saying this because I hate myself a lot of days but um I mean myself steams in the fucking toilet but um I can at least preach it uh try to to love yourself and if you're gonna do this, do it for yourself, don't feel like you have to, because I'm not, that's not why I'm making this video, I'm trying to help, so, um, if you have any tips, uh, put them in the comments, 
uh, if you have any advice, uh, put it in the comments. If you want to share this to some other friends that think that they might like it, then share it. Um, and if not, I love you very, very much, and I will see you next time. Bye! Mwah.